Unique is just one way to describe Patty Cole Tyndall. It's my unique lens, my unique view that actually um, makes me the right candidate at this time. She sat next to King County Executive Dow Constantine in an interview with King 5 to accept a position and make history. It's not lost on me, and I um, actually believe I am the first sheriff of African-American uh, sheriff in the entire state. So it's not just King County, but it's even broader than that. I first knew Patty as my director of labor relations, and that was where she sat across the table from uh, all of our different employee groups, in including law enforcement officers, and negotiated contracts. And then uh, she took over for an interim period running the Office of Law Enforcement Oversight, uh, the very agency that is charged with identifying whether uh, police officers have, have uh, committed wrongdoing. And so she's coming at this from a very different angle. Cole Tyndall will need King County Council confirmation, but it is not expected to be a roadblock. After all, it was the council who pushed and convinced voters to make the position an appointed one, and at times, along with labor unions, publicly disagreed with her predecessor. You're both on the same page on body cameras, from what I recall. Um, yes. 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 Absolutely. I, uh, I'm very supportive of uh, body-worn cameras to make sure that we can have the truth uh, in every case. And, and I'm going to be working hard to make sure that we're pushing that forward. It's not an inexpensive proposition. The 57-year-old is a career public servant who has been under sheriff and worked for years as an investigator with the Washington State Gambling Commission and Employment Security Department as well. But again, we come back to that word, unique. Cole Tyndall now needs to be recertified as a police officer by the State Academy, a 19-week course that will take her away from the Sheriff's Department. It just seems like an extremely odd idea that the Sheriff is not an accredited sworn police officer. How How is that not a hang-up in this discussion? Uh, as people got to know Patty and work with her as their actual leader, they understood that she did have the background. You've been to the academy before, you know, you, you've actually been a sworn officer and, and uh, you uh, are willing to go through that process again in order to have that certification. Obviously being away for 19 weeks is, is I don't see it as a challenge. What I actually see is that no other sheriff or police chief in this entire state will have the contemporary training that our new recruits experience except for me. So that will also make me unique. I feel that's a value to this agency as well as to me personally as the sheriff.